Hello and welcome back to another video. Today we're looking at a hash map, another collection type in Rust, and continue with the Rustlings tutorial. So let's uh, have a look. Okay, I already ran Rustlings watch in the Rust repository, as you can see here, and we get our first compiler error, which says in collections hash map one.rs, it cannot find value basket in the scope. Okay, um, obviously there is a variable missing or value missing for a variable. So um, let's uh, let's ask for a hint really quick. Okay, so the hint says, hint one, take a look at the return type of the function to figure out the type for the basket. And then hint number two, number of fruits should be at least five and you have to put at least three different types of fruits. Okay, so let's take a look at that file. So I'm gonna open up exercise collections, hash map one.rs. Okay, and then here we see another little description that says a basket of fruits in the form of a hash map needs to be defined. The key represents the name of the fruit and the value represents how many of that particular fruit is in the basket. You have to put at least three different types of fruits, for example, apple, banana, and mango in the basket, and then the total count of all the fruits should be at least Five. Okay, so let's take a look here. So we can see here that we're importing the type hash map from the standard library. And then we have a function fruit basket, which returns a hash map of string and u32. So just really quick, if you don't know what a hash map is, it's basically a data structure that maps a certain key to a certain value. You can think of it as a hash table. So in our case, we want to map a fruit name to a number of fruits that we're holding in the basket. Okay, and then we see here there's a to-do where we have to create our hash map. And we also see here in line 22 that we're already inserting a first fruit in here. It's a banana and we put two of them in there. Okay, cool. And then here it says we should put more fruits in there. Let me scroll down further. Right, here we have some tests, two of them. One of them says there have to be at least three types of fruits in there. And we see here it's calling fruit basket, which is the function that is defined up here. And it returns a basket and then it calls dot len on it, which returns the total number of key value pairs stored in the hash map. And then down here's another test that says at least five fruits have to be in the basket. This is the total count of the values stored in the hash map. Remember that the hash map that we're dealing with here holds key value pairs of uh, string and U32. So those are numbers. And then basically what this assertion is doing here is saying, okay, give me all of the values of that hash map, add them together, and then give me the sum and check whether it is bigger than five. Okay, cool. So let's make this work. Um, obviously we need to create our hash map here. So all we have to do here essentially is saying hash map and then new, calling new on it. Now the cool thing is we already see the function says it returns a hash map of string and u32. We could theoretically go ahead and give this variable a type here and say, okay, this is indeed a hash map of string and u32. However, this is not really needed because the compiler is able to infer the type that we're dealing with due to the first insertion that's happening here, right? Here we're entering a string and a number. And so by doing that, it knows stati by statically analyzing the code. Okay, so this is indeed a hash map of string and U32. Okay, so now to insert new values, all we have to do is basically take this line here, put it here, and what did it say? We need to put at least three different kinds of fruits. So let's just put four in here in total. And we say we want to insert, let's say, what do we want? We want oranges, orange is nice, one more orange. And we want to put in avocados. I like avocados, two are good. And then how about pineapple? I like pineapples. And don't forget that we need to have at least five fruits in total. So now we have two plus one is three, plus two is five, plus two is seven. So that should do it. Okay, I'm gonna save it and see what the compiler says. Okay, wonderful. This is compiling, let's remove the comment and move on to the next one. Okay, so now we have a bunch of failing tests here. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna ask right away for a hint. 
Okay, so the hint says use entry method and or insert methods of hash map to achieve this, whatever this is. So let's just, let me check the file. It is in, right, in hashmap2.rs. So let me just open up that file, hashmap2.rs. And here we have a little description that says a basket of fruits in the form of a hash map is given. The key represents the name of the fruit and the value represents how many we have. So it's the same as before. And then it says you have to put more than 11 fruits in the basket. Three types of fruits, apple, mango, and lychee are already given in the basket. You're not allowed to insert any more of these fruits. Okay, and then make the tests pass. So let's see. Um, let's first take a look at the tests. Okay, so here we have a function, get fruit basket. What it does is it creates a hash map. So here we see another syntax of specifying the type for a hash map. In this case, it's a type fruit in U32. And then we can see here in the insert statements that fruit is an enum. So we have mango, apple, and lychee, as mentioned in the description. And so, yeah, basically what this function is doing is putting these three fruits in there and then returns the basket. Okay, and then we have a first test that says given fruits are not modified. So it gets the basket, it passes it to a function fruit basket. That's the function up here where we have to do some work. Okay, whatever that is, we take a look at that in a second. So it passes that basket to fruit basket. Also notice that it's passing a mutable reference to the basket. So fruit basket is not actually returning anything. It's taking a reference to the basket and it's a mutable reference. So the function is allowed to change the basket reference. So once fruit basket has done its work, the test is counting the key value pairs again, and it has to be five. Okay, so we know that uh, as per get fruit basket, there's already three in there, but this test wants to have five key value pairs, five different fruits. All right, and then there's another test that says we have to have more than 11 fruits. Okay, cool. So then let's go ahead and take a look at this function, fruit basket. So fruit basket takes a basket, which is a mutable reference to a hash map of fruit in U32. Okay, cool. And then we're defining a vector of fruits here. So we have apple, banana, mango, lychee, and pineapple. Oh, that's cool. I like pineapple. And the fruit type is an enum that is defined up here. And then we have a loop in which we should put new fruits that are not already present. Okay, how do we do that? If we go back to the hint, it said use the entry and or insert methods of HashMap to achieve this. So basically what we need to do here is we need to iterate over all of the fruits that we defined up here. We need to check whether every single fruit that we're iterating over is already in the basket that we got. Remember, we have a reference, a mutable reference to a basket, and the test already put three fruits in there. So we need to make sure that uh, we don't add it to the basket if it's already in the basket. In this particular case, that would be, uh, what was it? Apple and mango and lychee. So this one and this one and this one. And then if the fruit is not yet in the basket, then we can just add it with some amount. Okay, so what we do here is we then take that basket in that iteration and we call the entry method on it and pass down the fruit. Now what this is doing, entry is giving us something of type entry. It's an actual type in Rust. And entry knows whether that given key here that we pass down to that hash map actually exists in the hash map. And then by having that type, we can call methods on that type that can operate on these different scenarios, whether that key actually exists in the, in the, hash, in the hash map or not. So here we can call or insert, and then we say, for example, one. So now what this is doing, it says, okay, so check if the given fruit is in the basket. If it's not, then insert it and insert it with the value one. This is the number of fruits. In this case, if we iterate over banana, then banana doesn't exist in our basket, so it's gonna add a banana 
And in fact, it's going to add a one. We can also add two or three or five. doesn't really matter. As long as we have more than 11 in total. So I'm just going to put one in there now. Uh, and I've seen in the test here, look, we've already added four and two and five. So that is already 11 fruits. Anything that we add now is going to make it more than 11 fruits. So that this is going to, going to, going to do the trick. And if that fruit that we're iterating over does already exist in our basket, then it's just not going to do anything. So that should add all of the fruits that don't exist yet and add a certain amount of, for them. And then hopefully that makes the test pass. So let me save this and take a look. Yay, that's doing it. OK, cool. All right, that was a quick video about hash maps in Rust. I hope you learned something new. Make sure to check out the documentation for hash maps and Rust because there's many more methods and APIs to explore. And um, yeah, see you around in the next video. Thanks for tuning in.